Hi, I'm Raj Kanish. I'm a product manager at Logistimo. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how we use QR codes and RFID tags to physically verify handoffs, to improve data quality, and to ease fulfillment operations. Let's start with QR codes. Here we have a label that comes with a QR code printed on it. The label says Tusker, which is how we are branded locally. The QR code here is about one and a half inch by one and a half inch, but it could be as small as half an inch by half an inch or even smaller. QR code can contain data. So we could, in theory, encode the data about the order in a QR code, but that would require each of our transporters to carry a handheld printer, print out the data and stick it on the package. To keep cost low and the process scalable, we went with pre-printed QR codes that contain an alphanumeric string that we mapped to an order. I'll show you how it's done. I have signed in into the Tusker app as a source milk run transporter, which is basically the person who goes to the ship and picks up the goods. Here we see his or her tasks. So the milk runner would ensure that the items are packaged properly They'll stick one of these labels on them and fill in the details. They then take a picture of the package. They weigh it and then enter the right weight. They will be shown the price of the shipping that they convey to the shipper. Then they go ahead and mark the item as picked by hitting the button at the bottom. This brings up the screen where we take a signature for the shipper. On the screen, they use the QR code icon, which takes them to the camera mode. Use the camera to scan the QR code, which is then links the QR code to the order. The advantage with QR code over barcodes is that QR codes can be read from any position. Okay, once the QR code is mapped, a message pops up saying so. The milk runner then makes the customer agree to the terms and conditions, takes a signature of the customer and marks the order as picked. When he or she does that, we record the time and the GPS location of a transaction for our records and to validate if they are doing it in the right location. Now that the activity in the app is complete, the milk runner then takes the package and puts it at the back of their truck. Once they reach the depot, they take out the box again. Pull up the Tusker app and use the QR code button on the home screen to bring up the camera and scan the QR code. This will automatically take you to the deliveries tab and will also select the order for you. Now you just have to hit the delivery button to complete the transaction. Once the QR code is mapped to the order, it makes processing much simpler for everyone else in the fulfillment cycle. A depot manager, for example, would just have to hit the QR code icon on the home page, scan the code and hit picked or delivered as might be the case. Now let's see how Tusker works with RFID tags. This is an RFID tag that complies with the NFC standards. This means that it can be read by an NFC enabled phone. This particular tag is a epoxy covered but they can come in different form factors. They could be single-use stickers or a rectangular plastic tab that could be reused. Let me show you how this works. We are in the now familiar task screen of a milk run transporter. On reaching the shipper's address, the transporter inspects the package, fastens the NFC tag onto the package, which I've done here very shabbily with brown tape. Then we go through the usual process of taking a picture of the package, weighing it, and then entering the correct weight and now we move on to pick up tasks. On the screen, to map an NFC tag to an order, all I have to do is to touch the NFC enable phone to the tag, and the association between the tag and the order is made. As simple as that. Let's speed this up a bit. Now this package goes to the back of the van. When the transporter reaches the depot, all he has to do is touch the phone to the tag. That will automatically take him to the delivery page in the app with the right order selected and ready to be marked as delivered.
Again, now that the NFC tag is mapped to the package, it makes processing much simpler for everyone else. All they need to do is tap the phone to the NFC tag and complete the activity.